Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the uh, first video of uh, 2024. And um, I was kind of hoping to put out some more videos uh, recently, but um, I've gotten kind of busy here. Our family took kind of a somewhat uh, surprise uh, trip to California, and that's going to be a whole nother separate video on my trip there because that was really uh, amazing and very cool. But uh, I'll, I'll kind of keep that on the down low, but I kind of got busy um, the past week or so, and I got about another day or so before I go back up to school. But um, I saw a, um, a vinyl thread um, type video throughout the YouTube, and especially kind of the, Beat the Beatles kind of YouTube uh, community, I guess uh, you can say, and that is the Beatles vinyl tag of uh, 2024. I think originally uh, started by Rachel's Ghost. Uh, I have not personally watched any of her uh, videos, but I saw videos from Matthew Street and uh, Mean Mr. Mayo, kind of uh, some other um, Beatles-related channels that I've kind of followed, and I haven't really done any uh, vinyl tags, uh, I, don't, I don't believe so, um, because I really just kind of mainly uh, focus on the Beatles, so I don't really have a wide variety of, um, of records to kind of do a normal vinyl tag, I guess you can say, but when I saw there was a Beatles version, I thought that would be pretty fun to do. So I'll put uh, the links um, for the YouTube channels I mentioned in my uh, description below. And I'll kind of start going through these uh, 10 questions here from the, uh, the, vinyl, the Beatles Vinyl Tag 2024. So it's pretty much just kind of questions, ideas, thoughts. And I'm just going to be kind of answering and showing uh, items, records, vinyl primarily. Uh, from these questions. So hopefully I can remember all the questions because I did not write it down. So we'll see how that goes. But um, I remember the first question is show um, what Beatles album you have the most of. And I pretty much knew right off the bat what that was, but it was actually pretty close. But the winner ended up being uh, Sgt. Pepper. I have uh, 24 <laughs> copies of Sgt. Pepper. And it was a close uh, second with the White Album. I believe I have 22, 21, 22. But um, this particular copy is my first pressing uh, UK copy. And it's also the fourth proof uh, variation. So Inside the Gatefold has fourth proof on it. So there you go. And I'm not going to show you all 24 copies. I just have about a couple here. And here's uh, my US copy in mono. Very nice shape. And then I recently got um, the Japanese flag series, um, Sgt. Pepper here on the Apple label. And I did have one other one that I would have liked to show because the label is pretty cool, but it's from Venezuela. It's pretty much the same uh, black and yellow parafilm label, but it is red, primarily a red label with a yellow parafilm. So there's all my Sgt. Peppers that I have the most of, I guess. And then the, um, on to the next question, we got show a bootleg. So I'm not primarily, I don't really seek out bootlegs or buy too many bootlegs, but there was one that I really wanted. And, um, this was before the, uh, let it be, uh, remix and all that kind of stuff from 2021, but I really wanted this one. And I found it at a record show a few years ago. This is the Beatles as nature intended. And, uh, this was pretty much, um, what, let it be was supposed to look like um just pretty much the get back uh, album cover and i'll show a picture of it hanging up on my wall i have it uh, i just like the look of it so i uh hung up the album on the wall with the poster and the little manuscript that came with it so each envelope has a little um i guess address to a specific person that was uh, related or uh related or had some sort of connections to the Beatles. So I thought this bootleg was really cool. And I found one at a record show, like I previously said. And um, it's a little less cool now, since you have an official version of the, uh, the Get Back album cover. But I still really liked it, and I enjoy it. So on to question three, was to um, show a Beatles album, that or Beatles-related album that you most recently purchased. And um, this was the last album I bought for 2023. Again, this was also came from 
the California trip I took, so I'm trying not to spoil all the things I got there, but um, I'll kind of give a a hint to where the hint to what this one came from. So this is a uh, UK Flowers in the Dirt uh, pressing. There's other stuff that came with this album, but I'll save that for the normal video. Um, you can probably guess, maybe you can guess what uh, what other set this kind of came along with here. Um, came with the yellow inner sleeve, and I believe the purple insert here. So this is a UK pressing, comes with other stuff, so if you can, if you want to guess what uh, copy this particular album comes from, let me know in the comments to see if you get it right. And here is the label. Just real quick. All right. Next one is show a um, show your favorite solo beetle. Show show an album from a favorite uh, from your favorite solo beetle. And um, in terms of music for solo beetle stuff, I'll probably have to go with Paul. Um, in terms of just, he just has a lot of music out there in general, so you kind of it's kind of hard not to like Paul the most in terms of solo. But uh, my favorite Beatle in general is Ringo. Um, he's just kind of a, a funny guy. I like I just like him a lot. So I want to stick with Ringo here. The only problem is there's not really too many different variations of uh, Ringo albums that are kind of like besides the standard stuff. But I try to do something a little bit different. And um, this is that Ringo's Christmas album. I want to be Santa Claus. Uh, never was originally released on vinyl until 2017, which is this copy here. That's what the uh, inner sleeve looks like there. And it's kind of still, you know, the Christmas ending of the Christmas season. So I kind of still had uh, this album on my mind there. It'd be nice if they did like a record store day. Um, I don't know, red, pink, green vinyl version or something. I think it would, it would do well for a Black Friday. And I also kind of threw in a little bonus. I would also like to see Vertical Man have the Ring of Star Record Store Day treatment with the bonus outtakes and LP since this was never released on vinyl. Um, I think they, I think this would do well as a, a Record Store Day release as well. All right, trying to remember what question I'm on. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I think this is question five. I think we're still doing pretty well in remembering all the questions. Let us to uh, show a non-US or UK Beatles album. Now, I didn't know whether to take that to make like if the track listing was unique or just pick a album, a Beatles album that was just produced in another country. So I picked out two. Um, so this one is uh, a white album from Taiwan. As you can see, it's not white. It's just blue and the portraits. So I thought that was kind of, uh, that was kind of interesting and funny. And uh, here's the back. And the gatefold has the lyrics. And this is what the label looks like. And then for that different track order listing, um, I pulled out this uh, pretty interesting one from Russia. It's called Taste of Honey from uh, 1990 or 86. And um, there's the label. And the track listing on this one, I believe, contains songs from like, Please Please Me, uh, Beatles for Sale, and then uh, With the Beatles. Um, so it has, starts off with P.S. I Love You, Do You Want No Secret, Taste of Honey, S.R. standing there. Then it goes into Babies in Black, No Reply, I'll Follow the Sun Eight Days a Week. I Don't Want to Spoil the Party, I Don't Want to Spoil, spoil the Party, Rock and Roll Music, and then Please Mr. Postman, It Won't Be Long, Till There Was You, Little Child, Devin Will Heart, and I want to be a man. So, uh, interesting uh, grouping of track listings there. And uh, this next question is right up my alley. Show a Beatles uh, single or EP. Um, if you watch my channel, I like to collect uh, 45s a lot, uh, especially picture sleeves from different countries. So, you might have seen this uh, picture before because I use this as my little uh, icon uh, for my channel. And it is uh, the Beatles get back with that "Don't Let Me Down." And this is like one of my favorite um, foreign picture sleeves out there. This one is from Italy, and um, 
yeah, the reason why I have it as my little logo because it's one of my favorite picture sleeves. I just really like the uh, the yellow submarine caricatures. Uh, I just like the, the color, pop of color on top, and then it's kind of like the, the gray scale on the bottom. I don't know. I just really, really like it. And that's what the back looks like. And of course, it's on the Apple label from Italy. So if you ever wondered where that little icon came from, it came from this picture sleeve from 1969. Alrighty, next one is to pick a cover album, uh, a band or an artist um, that covered a that covered Beatles songs, I guess. And um, the one that kind of came to mind was this uh, Chet Atkins uh, cover, The Beatles. And um, this one's in really good shape. I'm sure everyone's seen this one before, but this one is a little bit unique as let's see if we can get a glare yeah you can see it kind of it's embedded or embossed or stamped stamped in it's a promotional not for sale promotional use only uh copy of this album so i thought that was pretty cool and um of course uh hearing beatles songs played on guitar by chat atkins is not bad either okay so let's see, we got three more questions to go, and I believe there's a show, an album, that a Beatle has guest, guested on. And like I said, I don't have, I pretty much have classic rock albums besides Beatles stuff. I have like about three tubes or so in uh, my storage. Um, so I didn't really have too much to go off of. So I mean, I was kind of thinking of all the stuff Beatles um, have guest appeared, but I didn't have it on vinyl. So while I was kind of like searching up on my phone just to try to see what was out there, see something I had, kind of cheating, but it was a cool story. I thought if you may or may not know about it, but um, so George was not on this album, but um, there's a song on this album called uh, Tell the Truth, which was a single before this album was released, and George Harrison plays guitar on that single version, but they re-recorded it. Um, for this album without George. So I thought that was kind of an interesting story. Um, sorry, I couldn't really pick out a, a better <laughs> uh, album to show, but they pretty much recorded uh, the Derek and the Domino's first single, and George was on it. But once they released it, they withdrew it because they didn't like the recording. It was like too fast or something. Um, and then when they re-recorded it for the Layla album, they did it without George, and they just kind of did it on their own for the rest of the songs. So, that was an interesting story. I don't know if you know that or not. Um, I thought it was interesting. So, uh, in the question nine, uh, I believe uh, you got to show a just a Beatles item in general. As you can see, I kind of got some stuff on my shelf. I got the Nelson Marine Lego set, um, Beatles 45 carrying case. But uh, the thing I want to show you, I can't show you physically, I just have to pop a picture up on the screen. But when I um, recorded some other videos facing that way, I have my Let It Be and Abbey Road display. Some people had some questions about that. Uh, I got those from like a local Barnes & Noble. I just asked for it whenever they were done displaying it. And then, um, so I have another display, which isn't around in this area, it's on the other side of my room, which is the, uh, the Beatles Capitol Building. Um, I was at a local record store, and I, like, um, displayed record albums from, like, the 75, um, 75th anniversary of Capitol uh, Records, and um, I thought it was a very cool display, so I'll pop that on the screen sometime here, and I put some uh, Beatles uh, stuff in it as well, so hope you enjoy seeing that. And then the last question, I believe, was what was your favorite uh, uh, Giles Martin uh, remix? <laughs> From the past uh, few years, um, I will say the uh, the Red album is not bad, but it's a little bit too new for me to call it my favorite. I only listened to it one time, so I can't really say that. But I say one album that really helped me kind of listen to Beatles uh, songs on my phone. It's definitely kind of uh, the White album, especially like Helter Skelter. Um, I can't listen to. Uh, my my records all the time especially when i'm in college i don't have any time or any place to um, listen to my records so listening to 
uh, Beatles songs on the phone with earbuds or on the computer can sometimes be a little bit hard with all the, you know, the stereo separation and all that. But uh, the White Album seemed to kind of, you know, it seemed to be a little bit better for my earbuds, uh, <laughs> per se. So I enjoyed that a lot. So I believe I got all 10 questions done there. And this is my first vinyl tag. I'm glad it was Beatles related. And um, I'll have some more videos um, in the works uh, here as I go back to school for the start of the spring semester. So I hope you enjoyed the thing I showed. And I forgot I was going to show you um, one more thing uh, for the Beatles item besides my Capitol record display. This also kind of goes along from the trip to California. But um, this is a promotional item uh, going for the, the Beatles' last song, Now and Then. Uh, if you can guess what this is, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll let you know if you get it right in the next uh, video when I describe my trip to California. So I thought throw that in for fun. Let me know. And for though that one person who does know, you can't copy. That's cheating. So, um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and look out for more videos in the future.